Yeah, guys, how are you all doing? MJT Reviews, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. How are you all doing? Hope you're keeping yourselves safe and sound and uh, carrying on doing your models as I'm doing right now. Um, so as you know that I did two very different videos the other day. Um, I explored around Bazzy, Basilton Woods. And basically I stumbled along the old pillboxes. Now I have viewed them before, but it was a very long time ago. And um, I figured, well, I'll do it again, just because, I don't know, it's something that I like to do, and it's a really nice place to go, especially if you want to take your mind off things and stuff. And I did mention in the video that I got it out in the open that I do suffer from mental health, and I know that a lot of people do, you know, with uh, anxiety, panic attacks, and, you know, depression, along those lines insomnia in some people when you can't get to sleep at the night <laughs> on the night times it's difficult and you know guys i'm i thoroughly understand it all i really really do and hence the reason why i said if you want to dm me you can on my instagram i'll put links to my instagram page in there if you want to put a few comments underneath in the comment section you can because you're not alone guys you really are not alone and i'll always be there to be there for you if you ever need me you know, and to be honest with you, doing these walks not only gives me the chance to lose weight because I've put a little bit of weight on, I mean, who hasn't? <laughs> and to be honest with you, I know it's not a healthy it's not a healthy thing to do. So I decided that I wanted to lose the weight and just get out there and help my mental health as well, just to make everything all just click into place together, if you know what I mean, just to make myself happy and do the things that I like to do. Now, if it's something that you don't like, then just put some comments down below underneath in the comment section. But to be honest with you guys, I like doing it because Thornaby, it holds a lot of historical... It used to be RAF Thornaby years ago, and you've got the parameter track, which is still there. If you want me to do the parameter track, click the like button, guys. I will do the parameter track. Um... On the, which is the last remaining part of the runway um, that's still visible on Harold Wilson Park. Um, I will do that one. And there's some other parts and some other stuff towards it as well. There's more pillboxes. There's the hidden one that I haven't been to for quite a while. So hit the like button for the hidden pillbox and I will do that one as well. Um, but guys, I'm going to continue doing my models as well, so that's not going nowhere. I have got my models here, so I'm starting my model section off now. And um, I did buy them as well, so I mean, obviously I needed my models. So I didn't spend that much on them, but, but uh, to be honest with you guys, it's just nice to have them. And like I said, the models are not going anywhere. So let's get on with this video anyway, guys. So please hit that notification bell and you'll keep notified every time I bring a new video out. Hit the like button if you like this video and uh, let's just get started, shall we? So here we go. Here is the first Airfix model that I got off me, mate. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to him, Dave Rounds. Thank you very much, mate. And basically, this is what he sent me. So the first one caught my eye and I thought, well... Yeah, why not? I'll give it a go to see if I like it. And uh, this is the Pearl Harbor, and it's the 75th anniversary. And it comes with the Curtis P40B Warhawk. It comes with the Mitsubishi A6 M2B-210. And then it comes with the Nakajima B5 N2 kit, which is... The torpedo bomber. Now, yes, they named them all after different. Uh, that, the, it was interesting because they named the bombers after women. So they named the Kate and then Betty Bomber and all that. And obviously the Zero, you had the Jakes, you had the Roof Bombers, you had the Pete's, you know. And uh, anyway, this one looks like a really interesting kit if you wanted to do like a diorama of some sort. Now, it's quite interesting because I've got an American diorama that I showed you the other day. 
um, which I'm looking forward to doing. And I might include this and make it a Pearl Harbor one. I'm not sure if that's something that you want to see, guys, but I might do that because it sounds really interesting. But anyway, we're here to review this kit. So it didn't come with... It's supposed to come with the acrylic paints, the two brushes and the two poly cements, but it didn't come with that. But hey, I'm not really bothered about that because I've got plenty anyway. And if we look on the side here, um, it is free flying hours. Now I'm saving these over. Um, obviously, a guy called, I, um, I think it was Iron Eagle, told me to save them over. Um, if I got that correct, I'm, I hope I got your name correct, mate. Uh, basically he told me to save them over because he wanted them so yes I am saving them over for you so those will be sent to you as soon as I've got enough and I'll send them over um, it's a skill level 3 guys and basically it shows you all the information here about it it says the P40 Warhawk is 134 millimeters length and the width of it is 153 Three millimeters and the pieces is 47 uh, the zero is coming in at 126 millimeters the width is coming at 166 millimeters and it's got 47 pieces as well uh, the Nakajima kit is coming in at 143 millimeters the width is 216 millimeters so it's bigger than the other two and it's got 107 pieces so the Nakajima kit's going to be a little bit more to do on it. So, And at the back, we are greeted with this. So at the back, we've got the whole thing about it. It tells you the whole story. Uh, December the 7th, 1941. You know, that will live in infamy. You know, if you ever have watched Pearl Harbor and Tara, 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 which are two fantastic films, um... It tells you a lot about it all and how it all started and everything. So, two very, very good films. I guarantee you'll enjoy watching those. Um, funny enough, I always say it, and every single time I watch it, is the Pearl Harbor um, the, the Pearl Harbor movie. I really, really love that movie, but for some reason, I expected it to be more about war. You know, the explosions and... How the Jap Japanese came over and just surprised it by attacking everything, but somewhere along in that film, it just ended up being a Titanic, a Titanic love story. Now, have you ever seen Titanic and Jack falls in love with, you know, Rose? It's a little bit like that, you know, but it's it still is a good film. It still is a good film. Um, yeah. If I, if someone was to ask me what do you prefer, if you prefer um, Pearl Harbor over Tara Tara Tara, I would go with Tara 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 because I like that more. Just because there's, it's not all about love and kissy lovey dovey like in uh, you know in Titanic. It's more about the war and how it truly happened, you know. But anyway, here we are. We're going to start off with the booklet now. Yep, it's all a new booklet, as you said. It's the anniversary gift set. So, in the older ones, it's just all shaded out like a grey colour. So, we start off, guys. We start off with the P40 Warhawk. So, yep. Obviously, you get the hearts, you put them together. You've got the propeller blade coming in with the open engine. Don't know if it has an open engine. That'd be pretty sweet. But with it being so small, it'd be pointless anyway. Um, get the seats. You get the, uh, the cockpit dial switches and everything. Put all the wings together. You, you've got your air intakes there. And the bottom intakes there. You've got the retractable wheels. If you want to retract the wheels or... Put them down, put them up or down, which way you want. I think you can put it on a stand as well, I'm not quite sure. So up to now, we've got nine steps up to now. Obviously, you get the chance to put the pilot in or you can leave the pilot out. I don't know which one to do at the moment. Um, so altogether, this is coming in at 16 stages. 
for, for so 16 step stages for a warhawk's not bad um and then you get that which is the warhawk uh wheeler field oahu hawaii uh december the 7th 1941 so yep and then it gives you the color codes there to go so paint it whichever one color that you want to paint it not bad then we've got the Mitsubishi Type 210, which is the AM62B. And obviously, yep, you get the stages there, which is coming in. We've got to put the chair on the bulkhead there. Then you've got the instrument switches, the dials, and you've got the gear lever and everything. You've got to put that, all that together, slipped it into the actual fuselage, glue the fuselage together, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and then you've got to put the engine in the top but that's nice to see actually because they've they've split two part of there so it's got like a two part radial engine there which is pretty cool to see um so basically that's coming in at 17 stages so 17 stages for a zero is not bad so obviously you can retract the wheels you can Put the wheels up or down. Put the pilot in if you want to. And there's the information on this one, which is... Yep. And it tells you fluid. Aircraft carrier division one. Don't know what carrier it took off like. Uh, doesn't say. Um... The Akagi, and there you go. So it was on the Akagi, and December the 7th, 1941, so, and there you go. There's the paint scheme there, and there's the colours, if you want to stop the video to view the colours for it. Um, not bad. And then we come to the last one, which is the Nakajima B5 N2 kit. So, first of all, we get... Bomb options. So as you see, these are less, these little question marks here. So we have got the drill icons here, so you can drill parts out to put the bomb racks on, which I will be doing. And then we've got to do the actual wing section and put the wing section on. What's interesting about this one is it's giving you the option to fold the wings, or you can have them flat down, which is a nice touch. Um, then we've got to do all the uh, we've got to do all the cockpit area work, which includes the seats, dial switches, guns, um, cockpit glass. Um, so we've got to put quite a bit in there, and then we've got to fold the other parts up. We've got to put the ailerons on we've got to put the flaps on we've got to put the uh the rudders on the tail flaps and everything then we come to the engine now this is interesting we've got parts for the engine that we have to do so it comes in a two-parter then we've got the exhaust pipes to put on the engine as well which is really nice to see and then we've got other parts then we've got the engine cowling to go on so they really have upgraded the kits, actually. This is a really, really nice to see, you know. And I mean, wow, just look at that. I mean, to do the kit and to do it all like this, you know, you can retract the wheels up or down, and you've got other different bits here and put the wheels on and everything. You've got this bomb that you can put on, so I presume that's two, like a two-part bomb because that one's a smaller one, that one's a bigger one. Then you've got the bomb rack. Um, but I'll be putting the torpedo on, man. So, obviously, I'll be going with the torpedo. Then you've got the three pilots to put in. You've got the back gunner there. And then you have got the option to actually put this as a three-parter on the cockpit glass. And then you've got the choice to put the big long one on. So, that's up to you which one you want to put on. And then you've got to put the propeller on. And then the folding wings come into it, guys. So you can fold the wings up or down. So, yep. 
And I think that's the last part of it. So all together, guys, it's a 53-part stage. So it's 53 steps on the kit. And basically, that's what it looks like. And it tells you who flew it. And the carrier was Zuikaku. Second attack wave. Pearl Harbor. And there we go. And there's the paint scheme for it. And it should look like that. So, very interesting booklet. Very nice. Very all nicely all set out and everything. So, I do like that. Now we review the decals. So, these are the decals. So, that's not bad at all. Very glossy. Very nice. Nice and shiny. You get the army one there for the P40. You get the zero at the top. And then you get the K1 at the bottom. Very nice. And these are the kits. So, first of all, we've got, which looks to be the Warhawk. And we've got the Zero, and then we've got the kit. So, let's have a little quick look at these before we put them away. Because, you, as you know, guys, I like to give you the full showdown of them all. Right, here we go. Cockpit glass for the P-40 Warhawk. Not bad. And here we go for the actual kit. So, there we go. And as you can see, guys, look at the crisp and clean of this kit. You can definitely tell it's new tooling, which I love. And because you don't have problems that way. And you've got the, the back part. And you've got the landing gear. There's a rudder there, we've got more landing gear, more wheels, and we've got the propeller for the engine, we've got the free spoke propeller blade, we've got the air intake just there, which goes underneath, and you've got the uh, part of the tail, tail wings there, awesome. And then we've got the front of the engine there, which has got the guns on, if it zooms in, there we go. Just click that and then you might be able to see properly. And then we've got the, the chair there. We've got the pilot. And we've got the wings, which are nice. And this is the other way around. We've got exhausts that you put on the engine. Let me just flip this around. There we go. And there's the part where the wheels go in. Wheel wells and everything. There's the top part of the wings. So, yeah. That's your P40 Warhawk. It's very, very nice, guys. I really do like that. Uh, it's a very nice kit. Um, very nice plane. I think it'll come out really nice when it's done. I think I've got a P40 Warhawk upstairs, but um, I think that was a Kitty Hawk, so I'm not quite sure. But I'll have a look anyway. But it's always nice to have two in it, really. <laughs> Uh, this one is the Zero, and there's the cockpit glass for the Zero. I don't know if you can see it properly, but there you go. Right, uh, here we go for the Zero. So, yet again, nice, clean, crisp kit. No signs of flash. you got your wheels, you've got everything all there. The pilot. Then you've got the uh, instrument dial for the switches and everything, landing gear. Um, oops. Then you've got the front cowling for the engine. It's a very, very nice kit, guys. I'm, I, you know, I'm really, really proud of uh, Airfix for bringing out a really nice kit that's actually a new tool and not old tool for once. Free spoke propeller blade. We've got the seats. We've got this, which looks to be... a uh, don't know if it's a bomb or a refueling pod, I don't know. Uh, we've got the back tail fins there. I think that's for the cockpit area. Or, yeah, that's for the cockpit area where the seat goes. I think that's part of the rudder for the back of the plane. Nice. And then we've got the other part there. So here is the under part of it. So we've got the, the underwing, 
the wheel wells in there and everything. Then you've got the engine, Mitsubishi radial engine. Then we've got the other side of the fuselage. Then we've got another part of the engine there. And then we've got wings. I think they're part of the wings or part of the rudder. I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, guys. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. That looks like it's a very nice, clean and crisp. No signs of flash, which is good because I don't like any kits with, like, raised... I don't like the kits with raised panel lines and with a load of flash on. It's just horrible nightmare. But this is really nice. I do really like this one. And last but not least, guys, we're doing the kit. So, let's have a little look. Let's see if we can turn this around a little bit. It shouldn't be... Stay with me, guys, a minute. <clears throat> Right, here we go. <laughs> Focusing. Sorry about that, guys. And there we go. That's the uh, cockpit glass for the kit. Show you it all in the bag there. Sorry about that. My camera likes to focus in and out. I don't know why. Yep, cockpit glass. You know what you get with a cockpit glass. So, before I start, I'm going to show you the big sprue here. So, here we go. The two fuselage parts, very nice. Part of the rudder, I think. There's the tail fins there, part of the tail. Then we've got the big wings, <laughs> the big long wings. So this one's going to be quite a big one. You've got the aileron flaps there for the wings. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. So that's a big part of the sprue. Then we've got this part here, which is the bottom part. So these are the bottom part of the wings. And that's pretty nice to see. So you can actually see some indentation marks of where everything goes inside the cockpit area. Nice. That's pretty impressive. Then we've got more flaps and ailerons there, I can see. For the wings, not bad. Uh, right, I believe this is part of the engine work. And then we've got the exhaust pipes there, we've got cowlings, I can see, not bad. Uh, we've got bomb racks, I can see there, to go underneath. We've got the big bomb there. And we've got the little pound bombs there. And we've got the uh, the back wheel. And we've got more instrument bits. We've got landing gear, I can see. We've got chairs, seats, more stuff. We've got the torpedo there, which what I'll be putting on. <laughs> and the last but not least, we've got parts for the folding wings here, but I won't be adding them. We've got the three pilots, we have the other bomb there, we've got the free spoke propeller, and then we've got the landing gear there, and then we've got like a machine gun there which goes at the back. So yeah guys, yep, and then last but not least, oops, we have got the part for the, uh, the torpedo. So there we go. So, yeah, guys, I'm really, really pleased with this one. Uh, this one's going to take quite a while to do, obviously, because it's a Cape Bomber and it's, <laughs> you know. But I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm actually quite surprised, to be honest with you. I didn't, I didn't think it would be, like, I thought it would have tons of flash on it and stuff like that, but it doesn't. So I'm quite surprised at that. And obviously... It's a really really good kit so yeah guys all together i would definitely definitely recommend this kit definitely recommend it um just put everything back away so nothing falls out of it that part in there get the bill clip put that in there and then we put it back in the 
the box and there we go guys so all together guys I'd like to thank you all for watching this video of the Pearl Harbor 75th anniversary um, special edition set if you're looking to go and buy this kit guys I would definitely recommend it I'm definitely going to give this kit an 8 out of 10 just because it's definitely one of a kind you know and I definitely reckon it will go well into a diorama if you're into that sort of thing if you want to build a diorama out of it I would definitely recommend it because you've got three good planes I mean three planes in a box is fantastic anyway so anyway guys definitely recommend it uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching this video if you do please give it a thumbs up tell your friends about the channel it's all growing because of you I want to personally thank each and every one of you for watching my channel and just watching my videos guys in general because I know I'm not the best I don't want to be the best but I want to give you all my best so <laughs> if that makes any sense but anyway guys thanks very much and it really means a lot and I hope to see you all in the next video so with that in mind keep yourself safe keep on modeling and I will see you all in the next one and don't forget keep it MJT guys bye for now